Today on the series, I two tips on healthy lifestyle. We've talked about not getting enough sleep. We've also talked about your food and fluid intake. Please, if you've not watched those clips, avail yourself the opportunity to watch them. Today we'll be looking at exercise and emotional health. At the end of this clip, you're going to understand some exercises that are unique with respect to your blood type. And you take some tips that will help you in managing your emotions. So stay tuned and watch this clip to the end. In this era of internet and social media, people can stay on their system or with their phones as at the spot without exercising themselves. Sedentary lifestyle has been linked to major cause of obesity and degenerative diseases. You see people sitting at the spot, they will eat there for hours without even moving their body. It has been reported that it's healthier to stand than to sit. And it is wrong for you to sit one hour without standing up, without exercising your body. Little wonder you see some people in Buka, especially those people that normally collect money. You see them, they are always, their stomach is fat and they, they are fat downwards. Have you seen some bank manager that they, they are always sitting on their system? They are always big stomach and fat downwards. And these are the major causes of high blood pressure and degenerative diseases. That's stomach fats. What is the tip? Don't ever sit an hour without standing up and stretching yourself. These days, people don't even trick. People don't walk again. When your colleagues see you on the road walking, they'll feel that you don't have money to enter bus or you have issue with your car. And that's why you see people moving from their car to their houses, from their car to the offices. Even this day of online shopping, people rarely go to market. They will just go online and do their shopping. It means that it's high level of inactivity, and which is very wrong. Aging starts from the feet. So you will have to walk. In the morning, walk. In the evening, even when you don't have anywhere to go, intentionally engage in walking. It is very important for your health. Remember, when someone is aging, you see them, they are using additional leg because their leg cannot carry them. It's all about leg. So let's exercise our feet. For blood type O, your makeup, you're meant to engage in vigorous, intensive exercise. Your exercise is not for yoga and other calming exercise. You're meant to engage in fast walk, running, jogging, all those exercises that is very intensive. This blood type can do well with competitive exercises. With blood type A you must engage in stressless exercise. Major exercise is yoga. They can do touchy, they can also do swimming. They, all blood type can engage in walking, but this blood type cannot engage in stressful walking. A walk that makes you to pant is not for your blood type. So all exercise for this blood type must be calming exercises. Blood type B can exercise like twice a week. Why blood type O can exercise like at least five times a week. Blood type A can exercise daily, but their exercises are always calming, not stressful. Type B cannot engage in intensive exercise like football. Their exercise must be moderate, not stressful and not too calming. The same thing with blood type AB. Blood type AB must not engage in any competitive exercise that has to do with heavily intensive exercises. They cannot deal with it, but they can deal with exercises that are common and also moderate exercise. Remember, this blood type are combo of A and B. So they can do with common exercises like yoga, tai chi, and swimming. They can also do with moderate or moderate exercise, not too stressful and not very vigorous. So the blood type that can deal with intensive vigorous exercise is only blood type O. And they can exercise at least five times a week. So understand your uniqueness, maintain your length, and enjoy the health that nature has bestowed onto you. In terms of emotion, walk away from things that drains your energy. Walk away from quarrel. Walk away from unnecessary arguments. Walk away from people that don't value you. Walk away from people that don't know your words. Walk away from people that don't understand and believe in your dreams. These are the energy draining things that you must walk away from. 
don't compare yourself with another comparison is not wise at all because even when you look at your palm and that of your sister or your twin brother they are not the same by virtue of our blood group we are unique so everything about us is unique so it's wrong comparing your lifestyle with another it's wrong comparing your success with another success compare yourself with yourself not with another because we all have our parts which is unique to us when you start comparing you want to start copying you end up being a photocopy so be real and be yourself the kingdom of stars they say they shine together so every of us have our own illumination when we exhibit our illumination everywhere will be illuminated so let us be unique let us be real let us be ourselves don't live beyond your income one of the causes of depression and emotional instability is when you know you that you have bills that you cannot deal with then you start you end up getting loans you end up borrowing this borrowing is going to sustain you for a meantime and it's going to leave you with emotional trauma that you can deal for a long time always make sure you live your life according to your income don't go and live in a place because your friends are living in that place and you know you cannot afford it don't go and get a car you cannot maintain your salary cannot maintain don't expose your children to a lifestyle that you cannot sustain don't put your children in schools that you cannot your salary cannot afford because you want to belong in, to a class these are the things that can drain and frustrate your emotion and lead you to depression the tip is that avoid relationships that are not working walk away from such relationships some ladies want to kill themselves you see that this guy does not love you and you're uh, you are trying to force yourself in, into that relationship you're trying to make in that relationship work these are the things that can affect your emotions that's why people keep to start taking their lives when a lady jits them or when a guy says i'm done they want to take their life please whenever you're in a relationship be sensitive and if you're seeing a green light then continue if you're seeing a red light walk away from that relationship guiding your emotions because someone is out there waiting for you and the person that this is the person that will love you for who you are so don't kill yourself in a relationship that does not want it next tip is about offenses just know that offenses must come people must offend you so don't say i don't expect this from you i don't expect that from you expect the unexpectables from people so when you know that people will offend you when people offend you you're not surprised so it's not something that will bring a shock to you because we are different we have different temperaments we view things differently so we must offend each other if you understand that nobody will toy with your emotions the last on this tip is smiles when you don't expect much from people when you don't expect much from the society you don't expect people to always please you you will not be bothered things will not offend you one of the things that affect us so much is expectation expectation kills when you expect much from people and it's not coming especially this season you are expecting this person to give you this and that person to give you that and when the expectation is not coming you start having hatred you start being emotionally disturbed you start feeling not loved not cared for please expectation kills don't expect much from people live your life according to what you can afford so when anything comes let it be additional work hard and plan your life don't plan your life depending on promises that will drain your energy and will end you end up depressing you so don't expect much from people and always wear your smiles because your dressing is not complete without smiles it takes 40 muscles to smile while it takes 144 muscles to frown so every day, make sure after dressing, you put on the last coat, which is your smiles. When you smile at life, life will smile back at you. So let's always put on smiling face, even when things are not working the way we want it. Don't give your smiles in the heart of people to control. Don't give your emotions in the heart of people to manage. You are in charge of your life. So be in charge of your emotions. Walk away from things that drains your energy. Dodge in things that make you happy. And work hard for your sustenance. And when anything comes, let it be additional. But don't expect much from people. 
because expectation kills. Till I see you in the next video. Remember, we have only one life to live. We need to live it well. Share this link with your loved ones. Let's educate ourselves. Always talk to yourself in everything. Walk away from things that drains your energy.